this is a great time to be a nerd. And it's a great time to be a nerd who cares. We have really big problems. We talk about the healthcare problem, the education problem, uh, the environment. I do think of AI and cognitive systems as a natural evolution of our curiosity and of our own intelligence. We have come to the limits of our own intelligence along certain dimensions, and definitely one of the dimensions is the amount of new information that we can digest. People are not very good at getting that much of data and really digesting it. I think at, at a kind of a very high level, people think of intelligence as the ability to predict what's likely to happen in the future. Uh, and that requires us to understand what's happening currently and what has happened in the past and somehow project that into the future and make plans. Knowledge, on the other hand, is about taking all of the information that's available out there and combining it in ways that can somehow be used for making decisions. In the end, just having knowledge or just having intelligence is not going to be good enough. You have to be able to do something that is meaningful to people and to society as a whole, and we need to be able to apply value judgments based upon you know, what we care about and how we want to see our world evolve. And when you put that wisdom of an individual, a person, with the knowledge and the insights that a machine can combine, I believe we can actually understand some of the big questions like why is global warming happening? And you know, how can we make uh, the world's economy uh, improve in some fashion? So you ask, uh, are we building all of these AI systems? Because we can. I think we have to have intelligent systems helping us to solve the big problems of the world. And that is much more uh, sophisticated. It's much more human, I think. I look at this as just the next step in our evolution as a species. I think all of us are going to be part of a future in which um, cognitive computing is going to be the core 